So we're really excited to announce that we're launching a full new range of hooks. So we've got the MXC range, which is your commercial hooks, and you've got your MXB range, which are all your barbed hooks. We've worked on these hooks for the past 18 months now. All have been designed with our in-house design team in the UK and all fully tested by our consultancy team within the UK and Europe. We fully believe that we've got a hook pattern for all different variations of fishing styles, you know, whether you're needing something for commercial fishing or for fishing more natural venues. So I'm going to pass you over now to some of our UK consultants who are going to talk you through some of their favourite patterns. This is the MXC1 pattern. It's my go-to hook for all my general commercial fishing, where you're fishing sweet corn, expander pellet, worms, maggots, etc. Uh, it's PTFE coated and it lends itself to the sealfish side of the, of the aspects as well because it's a medium uh, gauge wire and it really is a lovely hook in variable sizes. It's just my go-to hook. It's just the one I prefer to use. I'm um, hooked on it, excuse the pun. The MXC2s, this is the really, really strong pattern in the range for all your carp fishing barbless hook. They're always going to stay sharp. Big spades, so use whatever strength of hook length you want with them. Not going to come off, going to knock well around it. They just cover up all my carp fishing, if I'm honest. In the smaller sizes, I'd use them with corn and expanders. And moving down to the big sizes, you can use it for edge fishing. They are that strong. Uh, paste fishing, handle all sorts of baits. Like I say, it's my go-to carp hook. It's all I will use in the summer months, if I'm honest. Perfect for carp fishing. Well, I've been quietly uh, field testing the MXC3 for some time now. It's no surprise it's very similar to the old Matrix carp riggers hook because it was such a brilliant hook. The only thing I could have improved with it would be the uh, PTFE coating, which it now comes with. Um, I'm doing a hell of a lot of big carp fishing, um, catching good size fish, pound to right up to 10 pound plus. I've had 20 pound fish today. Um, and you need a strong hook now. I'm doing a lot of banded pellet fishing, hard pellets, hard six mil pellets, hard eight mil pellets, even hard 11 mil pellets. And you need a, a decent hook for that. Um, and these fish are really pulling, especially this time of year, they're really pulling hard. So it's quite a meaty hook and it's just perfect for this time of year for all sorts of disciplines, whether it's pole fishing, pellet waggler fishing, or feeder fishing. I've got no end of these already tied up in my hook boxes and they're gonna see a lot of action uh, for the rest of the season. The MXC4, strong and durable carp hook. PTFE coated, extra strong hook. It's perfect for your bomb and waggle fishing. Any really heavy gauge work, they're a straight eyed pattern, so perfect for big carp fishing or anything where you need that extra power, a hook isn't going to let you down. These hooks come in a range of sizes from a size 10 to a size 18, which covers all ranges for your carp angling. A lot of the fishing I do is in the winter time and the MXC5 was the perfect hook for my winter fishing. I used them a lot last winter in testing and for fishing maggot for F1s and commercial silvers, they're absolutely fantastic. They're quite a fine wire, light hook, but they are deceptively strong in that if you hook a bigger carp, probably like three, four, five pound even, you could land them if you took time and used a light elastic. But um, for maggot fishing, caster fishing, pinkies, and then as well just hooking tiny little expanders as well which is a brilliant method for skimmers and F1s in the winter. Uh, they're absolutely perfect for it. They're available in 16s, 18s and 20s. Only a small range of sizes but they're perfect for the winter fishing and the type of fishing that you're going to do at that time of year. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a lightweight hook that's good for winter fishing then check them out. So for me, without doubt, my favourite hook in the new range that we produced at Make 6 is the MXC6. I mean, it's, for the fishing that I do, it's 99%, if I'm completely honest, I fish pellets everywhere. I mean, I love fishing hard pellets. That's what I have the most confidence in. And whether it's hair rigging a hard pellet, hair rigging a maggot, hair rigging a caster, literally, we often make the joke in, um, with me and my friends, we very rarely hook a bait probably from April right the way through to sometime in October. I mean, all our fishing is about hair rigging. 
And for me, you know, I mean, these sort of hooks, the, the medium gauge wire, the lovely black, I mean, all hooks have to be as far as I'm concerned. Now, I'm not into any shiny hooks. They just create the perfect hook that is suitable maybe in the 80s and 20s for my delicate four mil pellets, my maggots and casters shallow on a, on a tricky day. Um, just a nice f one sort of hook. Or I can move up to an 18, a 16, or even a 14 with a big enough bait for when I'm sort of civilized carp fishing at venues that aren't too snaggy. Nice carp fishing, even in this sort of situation on pegs when we've got a few snags, they're the hook that I can trust. I can use decent elastics up to sort of a 12 to 14, even a 14 to 16, and I've still got no worry whatsoever in them hooks being overpowered and straightening out. For me, it's just the, the perfect all round hook that ties a beautiful uh, hair rig with a band attached, which is my preferred way of um, presenting most baits that I use. And for me, it's just the, the perfect all round hook that does the job in 99% of situations. Pretty much all my hook boxes now are just the MXE6s in a 20 up to about a 14. They do the job for me. The MXB1 is based on the incredibly popular feeder rigger hook. Now featuring a black nickel finish, extra strong wire. This is my go-to hook when you need to hair rig baits when barbed hooks are allowed. The outturned eye allows the line to kick off nicely, especially when hair rigging. It allows you to use thicker lines and not close that gate. Make sure you hook every fish that picks up your bait. It's perfect for catching big fish, whether you're using the 16s and 18s when hair rigging a piece of worm or a small piece of corn, when fishing for bream on a big reservoir or a big natural water, or even when hair rigging double corn, pieces of meat, when you're fishing in Europe where you can use barbed hooks, maybe you might be fishing for carp or other big hard fighting fish um, when you need strong tackle, strong hooks that won't let you down. The MXB1 is available in a 12 right down to an 18 to cover you for a wide range of fishing situations. The MXB2 hook is my go-to hook for all my silverfish or natural fishing. I've used it extensively in Ireland, I've used it on rivers, and I've used it on canals. It's a fantastic hook. For a medium wire, it's got great strength. Um, brilliant for fishing worms, maggots, casters, uh, even sweet corn. It's a great hook in various sizes, which covers all aspects of silverfish or natural fishing. It's just an all-round hook for three types of fishing, really, pole, feeder, and waggler. One of the patterns of hook I've been using over the last few weeks is the MXB3. Now, I was over the moon when this range came out, and that's basically because this is going to suit the vast majority of the fishing that I do. Anybody what knows me knows that I love to fish natural venues. Um, they're untamed, some of them, and one of the key things in our feeder fishing is durability. And we like to just have that built into our game wherever we possibly can. And this is a hook that is going to suit that perfectly. It's a really strong hook. It's, it's quite a wide gape hook and that's going to suit a lot of the baits that we now use on these venues when we're bream fishing and when we're after big roach and that sort of thing. A nice wide gape hook is going to be ideal for fishing with worms, with corn and bunches of maggots and that sort of thing. Not only is it suited to venues right here in the UK but it's going to be ideal for when we go over to Ireland on some of those wild venues because it's such a strong hook. So this is a pattern that's going to feature heavily in a lot of my feeder fishing because it's a um, quite a nice size spade end, it's going to allow you to use some of the thicker gauge diameter hook lengths that we sometimes have to use on these wild venues. And the final feature which I really love is that it's a nice dark hook as well. I just think that that really enhances the chance of you catching more fish as opposed to a bright shiny hook. I just think it's much more discreet and I just think it can only help you catch more fish. So this is a pattern that I'm going to be using hell of a lot over the coming years. So that was an overview of the full range of matrix hooks from some of our UK consultants. Please get down to your local matrix stockist and check them out.